Hello, my name is Omusoro Afakamia from Scripture Union. I welcome you to this series of decision making and we shall be looking at the acronym DECIDE throughout the series. Let us begin with the first letter and that is letter D which is define the problem. Let us read from Genesis chapter 2 verse 20. So the man gave names to all the livestock the birds of the air, and all the beasts of the field. But for Adam, no suitable helper was found. Many times we address symptoms of what we are going through and forget to address the real problems. This is always because maybe we fail to define our problems, challenges, or what we are going through. Now, in this verse, Adam's problem wasn't food, it wasn't a field for playing in, it wasn't even the fear for the wild animals because he had actually been given the authority over all these. So then, what was Adam's problem? Adam needed a helper or a companion. Now, God was able to define the problem of Adam at that time because many of us cannot even define our own problems you think you are ugly simply because people have called you such names in schools in gatherings etc and so you start bleaching buying all types of makeups doing all sorts of haircuts thinking you will solve the problem of people saying that you are ugly no when you define the problem, you will actually realize that it is your mindset that has been tuned to that direction. Some of you say you can never pass certain subjects claiming they are hard and boring, when actually the biggest issue is your attitude towards the particular subject. In my high school, I used to even dodge classes of physics and chemistry simply because they were boring but not until I worked on my perception towards this problem when I passed let us learn to define the challenges we go through and that will help us to address the real things if God had created another man for Adam he would not still have solved the problem of Adam. Because Adam's problem was beyond just helping and that should be the same direction we take. When defining a problem, stop looking at the outcomes, but rather look at the cause. For as long as you fail to define the problem, you will be like a farmer who wants to kill the lumbugu grass and keep slashing instead of digging out the roots of the grass. Define the problem you are facing before dealing with it so that you are sure that you will handle it once and forever. May the Lord bless you as you look through the problems you need to define in life and do away with them.